Hello and welcome to the NPTEL MOOCs courses. The economics of health and education is offered at an introductory level to undergraduate and postgraduate students of social sciences in colleges and universities. Uh, this course aims to introduce uh, learners to the basic microeconomic foundations of uh, health and education. Uh, health and education are universally demanded across the globe. On the supply side, there are issues of um, who are the providers of health care, whether the government provides for health care or the private uh, sector provides for health care. Uh, there are uh, many uh, contentious issues surrounding uh, these basic uh, provisioning of health care and education services. So, in this 12 week course, we will primarily discuss the economics of health and education, focusing on some uh, basic microeconomic concepts. Uh, the course is planned to include three uh, broad uh, components. Uh, this is a, since this is a 12 week course, uh, we will focus uh, each month on one aspect of this course. In the first month, we will focus on the microeconomic foundations. So, we will begin by understanding the uh, foundation, microeconomic foundations of health and education. We will use concepts, terms and models uh, used in health and education economics. Uh, we will explore how these services are produced and consumed uh, and uh, with particular focus on uh, the economics of uh, production and consumption of health and education. In the second uh, uh, component, we will uh, discuss programs and policies. Uh, we will discuss how programs and policies are framed with respect to health and education in the Indian context. Uh, we will also uh, have special uh, reference to the developing countries. Uh, we will examine empirical and socioeconomic work related to health and education economics in India and across the developing world. We will also discuss some of the globally used uh, uh, frameworks uh, to understand economics of health and education. In the final uh, component, we will introduce some of the major data sources and databases that includes global data sources and databases as well as uh, Indian data sources and databases that are commonly used for studying socioeconomic aspects of uh, health and education. So, through these three components, this course will provide a comprehensive introduction to economics of health and education. It will equip students with foundational knowledge required to uh, navigate through uh, the uh, issues and concepts of uh, health and education. Uh, students or learners who are uh, particularly interested in pursuing research in the field of health and education uh, will um, benefit from this course. Uh, this course, uh, although it is uh, grounded in the foundational issues of microeconomics and economics of health and education also aims at an interdisciplinary introduction to the use of public health issues in the field of economics. Therefore, uh, it is encouraged that uh, students from all disciplines uh, in the social sciences, uh, undergraduate, those who are in the final year of their undergraduate program and in the first year of the postgraduate programs are particularly encouraged to take this course as it will introduce them to the some of the research uh, issues or the research problems that can be taken up as part of this course. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, will be of benefit to uh, the uh, learners. Uh, we will discuss some of the uh, contemporary issues surrounding health and education, health and education policies in the context of India and the developing countries and uh, um, therefore, uh, there will be something to take in for uh, every student who is interested to uh, understand the contemporary issues. Thank you. Thank you.